Visitors touring New Zealand pass through small pleasant towns with their strange mixture of English and Maori names and countryside probably different from what they expected in South Pacific Islands. It seems that wherever you go here, farms edge the road. This is a way of life some visitors like to have a closer look at. New Zealanders, especially country folk, are friendly people. And in the Waitomo district, they welcome overseas tourists. Early spring is a busy time for the farmer. Lambing has just started. Travellers come here to see the unusual places, but at Waitomo they can also have the chance to get to know New Zealanders. Within a few miles, these rolling grasslands give way to wilder hill country. Overlooking a scenic reserve, ringed by limestone hills, stands a hotel, entrance to the valley of Waitomo. At the Hotel Waitomo, there's the added pleasure of being able to entertain new friends and hear more about New Zealand. An offer to be shown some of the offbeat places in the valley is a good reason for staying another day. The valley is warmed by early sun and the road winds into a landscape so different from yesterday's. It's pleasant for a change to make enough time, ease up and not have to rush. Not far from the hotel are many cool, quiet places to stop. There's been a hotel at Waitomo since the turn of the century to give hospitality to travellers who come to this distant New Zealand valley from all over the world. A short walk away, limestone outcrops stud the hillsides. Rocks cracked by frost and sun and shaped by wind and rain. It's the sort of country where caves are found. After a million years of darkness, light reveals great galleries of fantastic sculpture, shapes carved and fashioned by a lost river searching for outlet, the Waitomo Caves. Over the ages, water seeped through crevices in the limestone. Crevices became holes and holes caves until a river disappeared underground. Dissolving and wearing away as it went, the stream changed course and levels many times, slowly carving out a maze of caverns. Through time, nature decorated the caves, as drop by drop, rainwater slowly drained through the limestone, leaving minute deposits. At a rate of about an inch every 300 years, Waitomo's stalactites and stalagmites have formed.
The Maori people named Waitomo after the river which disappeared into the earth. They never entered the caves, fearing a legendary Tanifa, the water-dwelling monster imagined in its subterranean depths. Waitomo's visitors are guided under the earth in comfort and safety. But the first explorers, Fred Mace and Tane Tinoral, had only candles to light the way for their raft as it floated into the earth's darkness. Looking up, they thought they saw a night sky of stars. What they had discovered was the glowworm grotto. To float down the underground river as galaxies pass silently overhead is the crowning pleasure in the valley of Waitomo. <laughs> 